Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at this G.I. Joe Elite Trooper Steel Brigade. This Elite Trooper is done on a 118 scale and is made by Hasbro. This particular version of the Steel Brigade Trooper was a two pack with the Iron Grenadier from the 50th anniversary. So, starting off, let's take a look at the file card. So the 50th anniversary file cards were quite smaller and different in design. They were actually pretty cool. With the 50th anniversary line, you got uh, well, technically four file cards. So you basically got two individual file cards, double-sided. So this is the one for the English, for the United States. So I'll hold this and you can pause and read it. For a few seconds and then on the back it had a different language so you got another file card it had two other languages which I just tossed because I have no use for because it basically says the same thing and I have no need for it but pretty cool so this is a figure Looks fantastic. This is a very popular um, trooper in the uh, G.I. Joe franchise. He has a Stibber Gate helmet. It is a a green, like a olive drab green. He has a gunmetal here on top, a black visor. He has some gunmetal here on the front with some black around the mouthpiece. Very cool. Just below that, he has his blue shirt. He has a separate collar piece here that is removable, but you would probably end up getting a chicken neck if you did so. He has a removable black strap that goes around his shoulder and underneath of his arm. There is a, like a gunmetal grenade on the uh, strap itself, but it's not removable goes around then just beneath that he has his tactical vest he is done in the, an olive drive color with the black pouches we have a red wire here on the front this tactical vest also is removable and on the back it has some black stripes here we have a like a harness hook for some quick extractions you take off this vest you just simply on tab it here on the uh, on this side and pop off the head and you can maneuver the vest off of the figure the figure has a black belt he has his tan cargo pants he has his green and black knee pads he has uh, black boots he has black gloves and just on the inner part of the uh, figure's arms we have the darker blue pads for under the arm it actually looks pretty cool Very nice figure. So the figure has a removable helmet. Just has a big hole with a couple uh, notches in to try to keep the figure on. The figure has a, without the helmet, has a baklava mask. It's very well sculpted. Has nice details. His brown eyebrows. The eyes are painted pretty nicely. He looks like he's a stern and pissed off Joe. So we have a piece of, well, I guess that wasn't supposed to be there. I guess it's a piece of paint from the manufacturing. Wow. Cool. For the articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It will rotate 360 all the way around. We have a little bit down, a little bit up, and we have a side to side. Shoulders on a ball joint, they both rotate 360 all the way around. They do raise up pretty good.
like so. And of course, he can go straight up. So if they were captured, you could get that a surrender look. Surrender now and live the fight another day, I guess. They have uh, elbow rotation 360 all the way around. There goes arms do come in. They have bendable elbows. Um, almost 90, well, almost 90 degrees, but not all, not there. He has a chest articulation, which you can't utilize with the vest on. He has a waist swivel. He does have a little of a crunch there, but the vest is also on. He sits beautifully. No problem. Legs are closed, so you can sit in most of your vehicles that will accommodate him. He got a pretty good split. It's pretty good. He does have double jointed knees, so we got one bend there, and the other bend gives you that much of a bend radius. More than you're ever going to need. He has his ankles to pivot down. Did you pivot up? And of course, 360 all the way around. So he's very well articulated. Get some pretty nice poses out of this character. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of his accessories that he came with. First off, he came with a backpack. It's an olive drive backpack with a black spade or shovel on the back and does have a pig hook. Very cool. You can basically play, place the backpack through the peg on the back of the uh, figure and it works out pretty good. Next he has this backpack. It holds four rockets that are removable. Very cool. Just pegs in. Take a look at that. So you have the option of that backpack or this one. So you have you can actually have army build these and have different loadouts. You can have your Explosive troopers with this backpack and the rocket launcher. It's pretty good. As you can see, I removed one of them. And this is what they look like. Very small. Gotta hold on to it. All right. Next, we have the launch for our the actual launcher. It is done in a tan plastic with a black mechanism or handle or a firing mechanism. A scope. What's unique about this piece is that it's two pieces, so you can break it down for transport. Fortunately, there was nowhere to put on the backpack. It would have been really nice if they had clips on the sides. You break it down and carry it on your backpack. But there's no place for that. And it just pegs in. So if you had a crate, something similar like this, you can put them in. Or something similar, you could break it down and put them in that one. Works out really nice. The front is actually drilled out. And that's because you can stick one of your black rockets inside, like so. It is not spring loaded, it is basically a manual play feature. It will not fire, but it looks fantastic. So, I did forget to mention about his wrist when we saw the articulation. 
Yeah, they rotate 360 and this wrist go down and up and this one goes 360 and it goes in and out like so that which will allow us to use our rocket launcher and here he is with the rocket launcher it does sit on his shoulder pretty nicely So he has this fore grip here, but unfortunately due to the uh, articulation of this figure, you cannot put his hand on that fore grip. Not in that position at least. Very nice. He does have an assault rifle. And it's like an M4 style, it has a scope, grip, blade on the front. It's just very cool. This is probably one of my favorite Hasbro G.I. Joe gun, guns that they've produced. Looks really cool. Here he is with that weapon. Looks really good. You can get him to hold the foregrip with this hand. It's kind of tough, but if you take off this strap here, it gives you just, just enough for him to do it. So, it's not too bad. Very nice. So it also comes with this style assault rifle. Kind of looks like a scar maybe. Foregrip on the front. Done in all black which is great. And here is with that assault, that, uh, assault rifle. So you have the choice between the two so far give your troops some diversity in their armaments looks good he also does come with a very large machine gun this has a pig for a tripod and we have a handle here. So let's take a look at that tripod while we're looking at the gun. I don't think this is actually made for this gun because you simply just want to pig this in here. I mean it works, but there's very little range. I need to rotate it back and forth because it hits the legs. So it's probably just one of those kit bash things by Hasbro. But it would just sit basically like so. Yeah, so that's how it looks. And this is how he looks holding it. Very cool. And here, here's how he looks holding it, like carrying it into battle. And he then comes with a stand. We have the gold print, gold um, paint for the 50th anniversary. It's how you tell that their 50th anniversary, they're painting gold. Normally it's just a black G.I. Joe sign. Silver gate on the front. Alright, let's take a comparison with the uh, zombie version. Very cool.
Let's see what they look like with their mask off. Okay, here they are, compared their masks or helmets off. This version is after they've been contaminated with the Z compound and before. So trooper in battle, infected. And cured. And here he is with the uh, Steel Brigade Commander. Very similar parts. Let's see how they look without their helmets on. And here we go. You can see it's just the same head. Just repainted. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the look at the 50th anniversary Silver Gate action figure. If you did, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.